giving them an approximately 600 yard range when they stood down there and fired. Now they were using muskets, i.e. lead ammunition. The closest ammo depot is in Fort Detroit. That's not a journey you can just make in the mid 1800s, whatever, right down to Detroit from the island. So what they had to do, they had to conserve their ammo. They'd run down the hill at the end of the day, pick out their targets, by hand, dig the lead ammunition out of the hill. Lead ammunition was a metal ball. It could be melted down and repurposed into more ammunition. So they had to go and collect the ammo that they were using throughout the day. Now, soldiers who didn't do this did not get to eat supper that night. And with that, guys, I think it's high time we get the lead out. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm not proud of that joke. Okay? <laughs> Come on there. Come on there. Well, folks, uh, okay, so I'm glad you could join me here today. It's a beautiful day on the island, right? Great day to take a tour. So you got to take a downtown tour as well. Did you guys enjoy that? Oh, yeah. Do you remember some of the drivers you might have? Yeah. Damon. 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 Very cool. Anybody else? Zach. Zach. Sammy. Sammy. Very cool. They all started this year, but it sounds like they're doing a good job then. I'm glad you had a good time with them. And folks, and I'm not really concerned you remember their names. They're in your life for a half hour, I'm in your life for an hour. You know, I'm probably, it, it's like magic. The second you take a set foot on ground, you're like, well, huh. you know, my horses were named Babe Thunder James. There's a guy up front. I don't even know. Can't remember his name, right? It's all right, though, guys. I don't expect you to remember my name. Walker, by the way. <laughs> no. Guys, I'm, I'm not even concerned you took a tour. I'm just concerned that you are exactly where you're at right now, which would be... McMillan State Park. The state park makes up 80% of the island. It took 80 miles of trails to come back through, you know, walk through, ride your bike through, ride your horse through. And so, not only is it a massive part of the island, the biggest part of the island, it's a beautiful part of the island, it's also very historic. See, in 1875, this was established as the second national park in the country after Yellowstone. Do you guys know what the first national park in the country was? Yellowstone. <laughs> so guys, as we're coming back through here, I'd like to take a second oh, and relax for a minute. Right? We've learned a lot of stuff so far in the downtown and the back part of the tour already. It doesn't have to be my tour. is not just history information, blah, blah, blah. I'd like to take a second and relax because you wouldn't believe how many people don't relax when they come to their Mac on vacation. And one, it gives you a chance to kind of breathe in the state park when you go pass by it pretty quickly here in the back part of the tour. So if we just kind of... Right here in the birds chirping, you're not hearing cars honking, sirens blaring, people shouting, not even a horse fart in the way. <laughs> so this time. we like to take a second because, you know, if you're not going to relax on any other part of your vacation, at least come here and relax with me for a second. It's beautiful out here. So you wouldn't believe, you know, you got all these parents downtown ripping their hair out because their kids are screaming, flicking boogers at everybody. You see all these people, you spend this much money on fudge and t-shirts, we gotta go out to eat, be at the Grand Hotel, blah, blah, have them look like they're sucking on a lemon, sniff on a fart, they're like, oh my goodness, like, chill out for a second there. So I take just a second, a little break from all the tour, the, the history of, I'll just calm down for a minute. Yeah, we're that's coming that's back through here in the state water. park. You'd be lucky if you see a squirrel on my tour. Yes, we have wildlife, but it's pretty small with the oh, creatures, and, well, they have just under four square miles, roughly, to run around, and, well, 80% of it, so, 